Using so-called Vedic math, multiplication can be represented by perpendicular groups of parallel lines. <clears throat> to represent the number 23, in the upper left-hand corner, put two lines. And in the lower right-hand corner, put three lines. Now, to represent the number 12, in the lower left-hand corner, put one line. And in the upper right-hand corner, put two lines. To solve the problem 23 times 12, we count the intersections to the right for the ones, and the intersections above and below for the tens and the intersections to the left for the hundreds, giving the solution 276. To represent the 23, push two beads against the left post, and then three more beads to the left, but not touching the two beads against the post. Thus, you represent 23. Now, to represent 12, push one bead to the left, close to but not touching the three beads. Then, two more beads, close to but not touching the one bead. Thus, representing 12. So, we have 23 times 12. Push the beads representing 12 back to the right. Now, push three beads against the first column. and carefully separate the first column. And then the second column. Pushing the three beads back, we have a representation of the solution 276, corresponding to the Vedic graph.